So today we're going to talk about something abstract, and that is how to troubleshoot a problem that may occur in Marlin firmware. Now, a lot of people out there do use example files. Unfortunately, I avoid them so I can understand how to configure things. So when I make a tutorial, I often hear I did exactly what you did in your tutorial and it does not work. That may be true, depending upon if Marlin is changed or if they're using a file such as an example file and then just doing the changes that I made. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the issue in actual Marlin firmware. So there's going to be several steps. Some of them are going to be easy, some are not. But you'll learn how to do it and it'll become fluid. Essentially, we're going to learn how to cut the problem in half to see if we can find it quickly. So as you can see right here, I have the Big Tree Tech Octopus, but this problem actually occurred on the SKR version 2. But the answer is the same for both in the way that you would troubleshoot it. So I'm posting it in the Octopus playlist. So I'm going to go over to the web page over here for the SKR or Big Tree Tech, and I'm gonna find the SKR so I can show you what's happening. So in the SKR2, what he was seeing was that his extruder would not heat up. So if you go to hardware and then you go to pins, what he was talking about is his hot end zero, or his first hot end, would not heat. So notice how this is PB3. And then down here, the thermistor is going to be the, or it's going to be hot end zero right here. So thermal hot end. So that's the actual pins for this. And this is technically, I believe, analog in this case. Over here, it's digital. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this problem real quick. So if we go over to the desktop of the computer, I actually was he was gracious enough to provide me with the two files right here. So here's the thought process. If you go over here, you're going to open this with the files loaded, just like you would for an example file. So for instance, you'd copy these two files over into the build. In this case, we're going to go to Marlin, and then we're going to paste it into the Marlin folder right here and overwrite our files. So that'll replace the two files that we currently have. Then we would go into Marlin and actually build it inside VS Code. And the reason that we build it is so we can look for errors. So this is what I'm doing on my side to see what the issue is. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder, Marlin 2.0, Marlin 2.0. Then I'm going to select the folder. And so I know this configuration is different from the one I'm using. So I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top and find what he's using. So I did ask him what he was using for his SKR board processor or MCU, which I'll point out real quick here on the uh, computer bench. So over on the computer bench, as you can see, there's an MCU right here. On the SKR board, there's actually two different types. When I first made the tutorial, there was one type of MCU. And a couple of months later, when they ran out of actual chips and replaced it with an alternative chip, there was another one. So if you zoom in on this rather close, you can see what the writing on it is. So in this case, it's STM32F446. The one he was working with was the STM32F429. So I'm going to go back over here and set up for that one. So I know they're in the same exact place. So I have to set up my INI. So I'm going to go to STM32F4. And inside here, I'm going to search on this right here, which I already have up. So I'll go to the INI and I'll paste it into here, which I've already done. Then I'll build it by first cleaning because there might be an error in the previous build. And then I'll hit the checkbox to build it. This may take a moment to build. If there's a red mark in the actual file where it's building in here, 
then we'll go to that mistake and correct it but only after you compile a second time with the checkbox because sometimes things build out of order so this is probably going to build fine and load fine so I'm going to show you what else could possibly occur so over in the folders over here in my downloads I opened up a folder called compare and inside compare I will be able to compare two files so this is the users configuration.h and this is mine so to get compare you can actually go over to the tortoise SVN web page right here and you can download it for your system and essentially you'll have this tool once you've installed it the reason I picked tortoise SVN for comparing or diffs is because they don't add a lot of crap to your computer such as advertisements or software you did not request this may change in the future but at the moment that's what it did for me is it kept all the extra stuff off my system so inside this file what you can do to compare for instance we have configuration.h and then we have the default one you can click on both and then you can right click and you can go to tortoise svn and do a diff now the advantage to tortoise svn when i show you this is that you now have files side by side so you have the users file right here and then you have the default configuration here on the left hand side you get these yellow bars for where there's differences those are places that you can check for your error so if we were to click on one it would bring us directly to what you're seeing as a difference right here and then here and then we could jump down and look here and see what the differences are and then we can jump here this is a quick way to go through the file so that's the first technique for actually doing this so I'm gonna close out of there and the second technique after you've built and loaded is to actually retest if there's a change so I know the error is going to reoccur so the second technique is to actually once you know the error occurs in not the default Marlin but in the one where you made changes is to cut the problem in half and what I mean by that is you have two files that you most of the time will work with. So inside here, if we go to downloads, Marlin, Marlin, and then the Marlin folder over here, we have two files that we're working with 99% of the time, and that's config.h and configadvanced.h. So the premise behind this is you take config.h, you drop in a default, just change it for the board that you're working with, like you do in my basics tutorial, then rebuild and see if the issue still occurs with the defaults. If it does, then go to the next half of the problem and copy in the configuration advanced and then see if the problem reoccurs. That way you've split the problem in half because it's either one of the files or the other. After that, you can always go back and do a file compare to find the issue. And in this case, it's going to be easy to find. I'm kind of giving you the answer right now for this particular situation. But that's what we did to solve this problem. Or actually, he solved it as soon as he realized this tool was available. So if you click here and here to compare both, right click and then go to tortoise svn and diff you'll see differences so this is going to pop out almost right away to most of you others it might take a second and there's a way to do analysis on it as well so i'm going to click on the first thing and what the differences are here you can see that it's using pb5 and then the default file there's no change so let's go to the actual pinout diagram so in the pinout diagram we got to find pb5 so pb5 is located where on the board right here so that means that it's fan 2 right here 
So that doesn't look suspect. So let's go back over to the comparison and then check everything else here. So what you can do is change this back to its defaults rebuild and see if the error for heating still occurs. If it does, then you can find the next issue that occurs that would be down here. And you can see that this is PB3, which essentially says that it's E0 auto fan. So that's the pin you're gonna use for your auto fan. So if we were to go back to the actual Big Tree Tech SKR pins, we could look for PB3, which is right here. So what are we doing with PB3 in this case? This is actually our heater, right? So if we were to look inside of Marlin in the comparison, you can see that PB3 is being used for a fan. So there might be an issue with two pins or one pin occupying two different functionalities, thus causing the heating to fail. That's the actual solution in this problem. But the reason I walked you through this is to show you the tools that you can use to find the issue quick. So this is brought to you mostly by patrons and people on PayPal that have been donating. So to thank them at the very end of this tutorial, I will be playing a list of people that have been gracious enough to help out to offset the cost to make this tutorial. And if you want to join or donate on PayPal, I'll leave links in the description of the tutorial. And just so you know, Discord is free, but my time is very limited. So during the workday, I'm not as available as at night. But there are other people in there that can help. So thank you very much. Be safe. Take care. And thank you very much.